All right, guys, this is what a lot of people have been waiting for. The Striper Stealth spinning version of the rod is out. This is one of the final prototypes here. I'm just cutting her open now to see it. I haven't seen them yet. Not the final ones yet. These will be available in all the powers eventually. I think right now it's just in medium and medium heavy. See all wrapped up. These rods will all ship with the sleeves on them. All right, what do we got here? Medium heavy, my favorite of all the actions for the conventional rods for sure. Okay, let's see. Super soft tip. All these will have a super soft slow tip just like the conventionals. The idea is to make the tip super soft so when fish pick up your cut bait or your live bait to hold on to the bait long enough to get it turned without feeling the rod so a stiff rod is a big no-no in this situation you know striper whatever catfish same thing they pick up the bait they feel the resistance of the rod tip and they spit it no 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 they don't want it soft tip is so important can't let that fish feel you you know super soft tip you can see how soft that is and it's the medium heavy you see the backbone comes in right around here but it's also, you know, still a very parabolic rod. You can see how round that is. Parabolic means it bends almost evenly throughout the blank outside of the, the tip here. But the more parabolic, the stronger the rod. It uses power all the way out through the blank, kind of like a floating fulcrum kind of thing. And uh, it just does a really nice job of powering the fish to the boat, even though you have that soft tip. So, you know, a lot of rods I've used in the past, I needed that soft tip, but I've had a sacrifice backbone. The Striper Stealth rods are meant to fix that. You have your soft tip, but you also have a lot of backbone. So this is a medium heavy. Let's see what this one is. It's the first time I've seen these final prototypes. Feel really nice. This is a medium. So you're gonna see still soft tip, but the tip is gonna, the softness is gonna travel even further down the blank. You can see how much further it travels down the blank. So your backbone is much further down. There's not much uh, more power than what you would have in a, uh, you know, in any other medium power rod. But you had that super soft tip, so you're getting both. Real seats, very high quality real seats. You have two locking nuts, and there is a rubber in between each one to keep it seated down without sliding up. And even though they're spinning, still have that really nice gimbal butt with soft rubber. So you have the best of both worlds again with this. So you can use a, a you know rocket launcher type rod holder like we use, and you can also put it into your gut without cutting yourself. You know, a lot of the rods when they come with a cap, you pull off, and it reveals a hard plastic gimbal butt. You, as soon as you take it off and you bury it, man, it cuts you bad. So that's that's a really nice feature there. Let's see how it looks with a reel on it, and more importantly, how it feels. Check the balance. All right, let's see how they look with a reel on them. Balance is very important, especially if you're going to be holding the rod all day. And you tend to hold a spinning rod longer than you would a conventional. A lot of people like you know casting them and working the baits back. So balance is important. It's not a terribly sensitive rod, you know. It's not meant for that. It's not really meant for casting artificials and feeling for a hit. It's meant more for that live bait, cut bait, mostly leaving the rod in the rod holder where sensitivity doesn't do you any good. Matter of fact, sensitivity can hurt you because just like you can feel the fish, it works two ways, the fish can feel you back. So these aren't a super sensitive rod. If you're gonna be working jigs back on the bottom really slow all day, this is not really your animal, although you can do it. This is more for, like I said, live bait, cut bait, but it's also a great cast and retrieve rod. Great for casting plugs where you're just cat you're retrieving all day. But something that you're working you know, a very fine bait on the bottom, you need to feel that little tap, tap, tap. That's what these are not designed for. The balance is awesome. You can see my hand just above the reel and how the rod just floats. Excellent balance. Love the guys at CTF, man. Caleb and Tony and everybody over there. These should be available pretty, pretty quickly. 
I don't have dates or anything like that with the situation we're all dealing with right now. I don't know how long it'll take for all these are fully in stock, but they are here. Finally, striper stealth spinning rod. I love it. Haven't caught a fish on a prototype yet. Haven't used them on the water, but they feel really good and look for more videos with them as uh, we attack the spring season. We're going to be on American Bay stripers pretty soon. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe. Give me a like if you like the video. Give me one of these if you hate it. It's cool too. Thanks for watching. Be safe on the water. Love you. Mean it.